The other big thing I think we need to do, uh, and I might be moving on to a different question, is we really need to rethink the big divide between arts and sciences. I really believe your child needs mathematics and your child needs to dance. I really believe this. And if you go to TED Talks, Ken Robinson, he's one of the most famous TED Talks. He talks about school skilling creativity. And he tells this wonderful story about a woman by the name of Jennifer Lind. Um, so I'll so tell the Jennifer Lind story very quickly because it's a very good story. So Jennifer Lind used to you know, always be fidgety in class and then the teacher called Mrs. Lind and said, there's something wrong with your daughter. So Mrs. Lind took Jennifer Lind to the doctor and said, there's something wrong with my daughter and then they had a chat and then the doctor went out of the room, left Jennifer in the room and said, okay, I have to talk to your mother and went out of the room. And as he went out of the room, he put on uh, the music and they stood outside and just said to Mrs. Lind, there's nothing wrong with your child. Your child is a dancer. Mrs. Lin, being a great parent, took Jennifer out of the school, took her to a dance school, where she learned mathematics and dance and everything, went on to become one of, you know, a very well-known ballet dancer, went on to meet Andrew Lloyd Webber, went on to choreograph Cats and many other Andrew Lloyd musicals, went on to become a multi multi-millionaire. You know, and that's because Jennifer Lin couldn't sit still. And Jennifer Lynn says that when her mother took her to the, to the dance class, she looked at all these children and she went, Oh my God, they're all like me. There's something wrong with all of them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. So, so the science-maths dichotomy is false. It is false. It has always been false. We need to rethink that.